Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing another review of Kisatanto, which is located at 263 East Pender Street in Vancouver. The chef there is Joel Watanabe. It is a one-star Michelin restaurant. It serves Japanese Italian fusion cuisine. And the reason I keep on going back is one of my favorites and I believe it's kind of useful to continue to do different reviews in different months because the money does change and with Kisitanto there's a lot of specials. So this is uh, the first dish here is the octopus salad which is one of their my favorites um, at the restaurant. So for $25, crispy smoked octopus, fresh and pickled radishes, parsley, and chili puree. This is one of the dishes that really attracted me when I first came to the restaurant, and I've never seen it done in this style anywhere else in the world. Why I continue to go back to Kisatanto is because they have a number of specials that change. So even though their base menu doesn't change very much, they have lots and lots of specials all the time, so it keeps it interesting. This is one of them. This is their burrata salad for $39. Um, it's actually really nice, very fresh. The burrata is beautiful, but all the accompaniments, the um, fruit, I think some peaches, some tomatoes, it really keeps it very fresh and lively. It's just a wonderful salad. Everything at Kisitanto is for sharing family style, and that's a nice thing. You can kind of, uh, the best is with four people, I think. With two people, some of the dishes are quite large to share between two people, but with four people, it's just perfect, and everyone gets a little bite, but you can try more things. We were here this time with the people that like to eat um, meat dishes and that's unusual for us so this review is a little bit different than my previous reviews. Typically when I go with my wife we like a little bit more seafood and not as much uh, meat dishes but this time our friends liked um, didn't like seafood as much so we had more meat dishes. So this is their um, carne cruda so they also have a fish crudo also, but this is um, $25. Again, pretty good price, very reasonable. Uh, Snake River Farm Wagyu with nashi pear, charred scallion, soy, parmesan, arima, sancho, and gnocchi frito. Delicious dish. Um, I, a very, they have a similar dish at um, Barbara Restaurant, which is uh, like a beef tartare. Um, personally, I think that when the presentation is a little bit better and I prefer that, but this is also a wonderful, wonderful dish. This is another one of their featured dishes, which I love. It's called the Tono Monte Cato for $25. Again, you'll see this blob at the top of the screen. It's probably not a greatest picture, but you can see my previous videos which are better. I always have this there. Uh, it's confit albacorn tuna with smoked potato, furakake with bruschetta with tobiko brushed on top. Uh, you put the um, kind of smoked potato on top of the uh, bruschetta with tobiko and it's just a wonderful uh, sensation. You've got great flavors that come out, but you also got texture. So again, this was another one of those dishes when I first came to uh, Kisatanto, which sold me on this, this place because I've never seen this anywhere else in the world. So uh, these are kind of, if your first time there, um, these are two dishes I would strongly recommend trying the Tono Matacado and the octopus salad, but that's only of course, if you don't mind seafood. This is another special that they sometimes uh, will be able to make. It's the black truffle omelet. It's $68, so it is pricey. And you might think, well, it's just an omelet. How good could it be? No, it's really good. It's with black truffle butter, I believe. And it's um, really um, unbelievable consistency and taste. So um, again, if you have a chance to try it, um, it's uh, great to have. And uh, it is quite filling, so again, four people sharing this would be sufficient. This is their rotolo, which is another special. Um, it's a pat type of pasta, which is kind of round shape. And so um, again, uh, we just had one uh, shared around four people just to try it out. It had some filling inside. Um, and so it was quite a nice uh, dish. Uh, you'll see we had quite a few uh, pasta dishes. Next dish is on their menu. It's called the Tangerin. It's for $33. It is butter, roasted mushrooms, and miso cured yolk. Very heavy, um, kind of Japanese-Italian fusion dish. Um, 
So it is very filling, so you don't need very much. Again, we shared this among four people uh, and it was perfect. So the other thing you'll see here uh, that is very characteristic of among all the uh, Michelin starred restaurants in Vancouver is you'll see variety and just consistency of food. Every dish, I don't think you've heard me say one dish that's, you know, I didn't like this dish. They're all spectacular. Uh, it's just the degree of spectacularity. So um, the consistency of the food is so good and almost anything you order, whether it be meat or um, seafood is going to be um, enjoyable. Next dish is the spaghettoni for $35, ragu of wagyu. Um, nut-fed pork, tomato, Japanese curry, and spice pan grattato. Very heavy dish. So again, it doesn't look like a lot of um, pasta, but it's quite dense. And so any of these dishes, um, the, this one or the tangerine, uh, are quite substantial dishes. Um, again, it's uh, you can see by the menu, it's not really at that expensive. Some of the specials are a little bit more expensive, but um, if you eat off their regular menu, it's it, you know it can it can doesn't have to be a very very expensive night. Although you you can make it quite expensive night. This is another dish that's on their regular menu, but um, we've never had it, and I'm glad that our friend suggested that we should try it. It's the kimchi potato for seventeen dollars. It's olive oil roasted fast batter Yukon gold potatoes, house kimchi emulsion, and miso with Calabrian chili. Um, not that spicy, but there is a bit of spice uh, in this. Um, and so it's quite a nice dish. Again, the kimchi is um, just an accompaniment, just a little bit of a kind of taste in there, but it doesn't overpower the potatoes. This is another special. It's the triple A rib eye, eight ounces for $90. Good substantial size, uh, enough again for four people to have a little bit for each person and um, wonderfully cooked. The sauce has got a little bit of acidic, acidicness to it, so um, it's kind of a nice accompaniment to the uh, beef. Next dish is the Magret duck breast for $65. It's served with BC Chantaro mushrooms and Yuzu Kusho juice. Again, wonderfully cooked. Look at the presentation, beautiful. Um, really nice dish. You can't really say much more about it. Um, well, you know, everything here is so consistent in terms of the quality and um, everything is delicious. For dessert, we finished off with another special. Uh, this is cannoli. So it's $17 per order. There's two in each order. So we had four people, we had two orders, which is $34. Um, I can't remember what the uh, filling tasted like. Of course, there's some, it looks like some matcha on top, uh, but it was delicious and um, you know, nice bite-sized dessert. They typically on their regular menu have two desserts. One is tiramisu. So tiramisu you can get other places and it's good, but you know, I think I prefer this dessert, which is a little bit more unique if you're there. It's called the Zuzu Cream. So it's kind of uh, acidic. It almost tastes like a Japanese version of a lemon uh, pie. And so, except it uses um, kind of more Japanese type ingredients. All in all, as usual, Dinner was excellent. Service is it's very casual in term, but still uh, there's formality in the service, which I like. But they are still very very friendly people, so it's not to a point where they kind of forget about giving you good service. Um, and I just really like that um, uh, balance or equilibrium they have in terms of really great service and also friendliness. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy eating.